Today's Mass Readings and Gospel Reflection December 2, 2022 Friday The First Week of Advent We bless your name, O, oh, for sending your own incarnate Son to become part of a family, so that, as he lived its life, he would experience its worries and its joys. We ask you, Lord, to protect and watch over this family, so that in the strength of your grace its members may enjoy prosperity, possess the priceless gift of your peace, and, as the church alive in the home, bear witness in this world to your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. First Reading A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 29 verse 17 to 24. Thus says the Lord God, But a very little while, and Lebanon shall be changed into an orchard, and the orchard be regarded as a forest. On that day the deaf shall hear the words of a book, and out of gloom and darkness, the eyes of the blind shall see. The lowly will ever find joy in the Lord, and the poor rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the tyrant will be no more and the arrogant will have gone. All who are alert to do evil will be cut off. Those whose mere word condemns a man, who ensnare his defender at the gate, and leave the just man with an empty claim. Therefore thus says the Lord, the God of the house of Jacob, who redeemed Abraham, now Jacob shall have nothing to be ashamed of, nor shall his face grow pale. When his children see the work of my hands in his midst, they shall keep my name holy. They shall reverence the Holy One of Jacob, and be in awe of the God of Israel. Those who are in spirit shall acquire understanding, and those who find fault shall receive instruction. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm Psalms chapter 27 verse 1, 4 and 13 to 14 Let our response be, The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stuff-hearted, and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Alleluia! 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 Behold, our Lord shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Alleluia! Alleluia! Gospel Reading a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Matthew chapter 9 verse 27 to 31. As Jesus passed by, two blind men followed him, crying out, Son of David, have pity on us. When he entered the house, the blind men approached him and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I can do this? Yes, Lord, they said to him. Then he touched their eyes and said, Let it be done for you according to your faith. And their eyes were opened. Jesus warned them sternly, See that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread word of him through all that land. The Gospel of the Lord Before we proceed with the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Also, please hit the notification bell so you won't miss out when we release new videos. Feel free to share your comments, suggestions, and reflections at the comments section down below. Thank you and God bless. Now, let's proceed with the video.
The Reflection on Today's Gospel Once again, today's Gospel places before us the encounter of Jesus with human misery. Jesus does not withdraw. He does not hide. He accepts others and in accepting them. Full of tenderness. He reveals God's love. Two blind men follow Jesus and cry out to him, Son of David, have pity on us. Jesus did not much like the title of Son of David. He criticizes the teaching of the scribes who said that the Messiah should be the Son of David. David himself calls him Lord. How then can he be a son? Reaching home, Jesus asks the blind men, Do you believe that I can do this? And they answer, Yes, Lord. It is one thing to have true doctrine in the head, and a very different thing to have correct faith in the heart. The doctrine of the two blind men was not too right, because they called Jesus son of David. But Jesus does not care to be called this. What is important to him is to have a correct faith. He touches the eyes and says, May it be done to you according to your faith. Immediately the eyes were opened. Although they did not possess correct doctrine, the two blind men had correct faith. Today many people are more concerned about correct doctrine than about correct faith. It is good not to forget a small detail of hospitality. Jesus reaches the house and the two blind men also enter the house, as if this was the most natural thing in the world. They feel at ease in Jesus' house. And how about today? A religious sister said, Today the situation of the world is such that I feel mistrustful even toward the poor. The situation has changed very much from then to now. Jesus asks them not to speak about the miracle. But the prohibition was not respected very much. Both of them went out and spread the good news. To proclaim the gospel. That is, the good news. Means to share with others the good which God does in our life. Do I have in my life some good news from God to share with others? On which point do I insist more on correct doctrine or on correct faith? How is it possible to separate doctrine and faith and practice? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid?